بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس دس از مدیحہ قریشی ٹیچر آف گارڈس پبلک اسکول وان آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن آئی ویلکم یو آل ونس اگین ٹو لیکچر نمبر تھری آف سائنس فار کلاس تھری بفور اسٹارٹنگ آر ٹو ڈیز لیکچر لیٹس ٹیک اے کوئک پریویو آف دا پریویس لیکچر سو اسٹوڈنٹس ڈو یو ریمبر What we have discussed in our previous lecture? Yes, we have discussed about the sense organs. So can anybody tell me how many sense organs do we have? Yes, we have five sense organs. These are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Okay students, we have also discussed about the skeletal system. Now who will tell me what is the skeletal system? Yes, the human body has a framework of bones called the skeletal system. We have also discussed about the muscular system. So what is muscular system? Yes, the muscles make up the muscular system. The skeletal system and the muscular system work together. Students, now I would like to share the topics which we will cover in today's lecture. And the topics are the digestive system, the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the nervous system and the excretory system. We will discuss about these topics in detail. Now, I am going to start the first topic. That is the digestive system. Students, do you know when we eat the food, it passes through the different parts of the body. So, the stomach and the channels through which food passes is called the digestive system. The main parts of the digestive system are food pipe, stomach, liver, small intestine and large intestine. You can see a picture of a human digestive system on your screen. Now, I am going to tell you that how food passes through different channels. First of all, the food is taken in through the mouth. Then it goes to food pipe and the food pipe pushes food into the stomach. The stomach stores and break down the food into small pieces. The liver produces bile that is green quid which helps in digestion. Then the food goes to small intestine. And the small intestine absorbs the digested food. Then it enters into the large intestine. Large intestine absorbs the water from undigested food. Then the waste material comes out from the body. Now through this diagram, it's easy for you to understand that the parts of the body that deals with food is called the digestive system. Now come to the next system that is the circulatory system. The system that circulates blood to all parts of the body through heart, arteries and veins is called the circulatory system. Now you can see the picture on your screen in which you can easily see the heart, the veins which are blue in color and the arteries which are red in color. The heart is the main engine of the circulatory system. It pumps blood to all parts of the body. The arteries 
take blood from the heart and the veins bring blood back to the heart. So, the blood circulates around the body through veins and arteries. Ok students, now you have to take a deep breath in. Now breathe out. Yes, have you got the hint? That which system we are going to talk about? Yes, we are going to talk about the respiratory system. The respiratory system is a system of organs that inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Now you can see in the picture the air which we inhale in our body is called oxygen and the air which we exhale from our body is called carbon dioxide. So the organs of the respiratory system are nose, windpipe and lungs. So we inhale air by our nose then it goes to the windpipe. Then from the windpipe it goes to the lungs. And you can also see the lungs are contracted and expanded in the respiratory system. Now we will talk about the nervous system. The brain and the nerves form the nervous system. The nerves in the body receive signals from the sense organs and take messages to the brain. You must be thinking that how brain and nerves work together. So students, do you remember we have discussed about the sense organs that sense organs inform our brain that what we are doing. Do you remember? Yes. So this is done by the nerves. You know the nerves are like wires spread in our body. They receive signals from the sense organs and take the messages to the brain. And then our body starts working according to those signals. So the brain and the nerves form the nervous system. Now, the last system is the excretory system. Through the excretory system, we are able to get rid of all the waste product, useless material of the body. The lungs get rid of waste air like carbon dioxide. The kidneys get rid of urine. And the skin get rid of sweat. So, we are able to get rid of all the waste products through the excretory system. Now, it's review time for today's lecture. So, students, today we have learned about the body systems, the digestive system, the respiratory system, the circulatory system, the nervous system, and the excretory system. So students, after listening and watching the video carefully, then you have to do the home assignment. Question number one is, define the digestive system and the circulatory system. So you have to write the definitions of these systems. Question number two is, which organs make up the respiratory system? So, you have to write the names of the organs of the respiratory system. Question number three is, which organ pumps blood to all parts of the body? Then, you have to do exercises in book on page number seven and eight.